Told by the Stars. At uh, ngayon nga ay isa ng series. Also, an award-winning actress. Please welcome the one and only Jody Santa Maria. Hi everyone! Magandang magandang hapon. Um, hello MJ and syempre sa lahat na nandito ngayon. Um, ngayon pa lang. Na, ayan. Uh, the host has disabled it daw. <laughs> <laughs> Kanina backstage, ang nireklamo ni Jody, hindi niya kami ma-PM, ma-direct message. Ngayon yung video niya. Ayan, ayan na. <laughs> Uulit and take two. Magandang-magandang hapon, MJ. Magandang-magandang hapon sa mga kaibigan natin sa press na nandito ngayon. At syempre ang task ng um, The Love Beneath the Stars. Um, ngayon pa lang nagpapasalamat na ako sa suporta na ibinigay ninyo. Um, yung suporta na ibinigay ninyo sa The Boy for Tool by the Stars. Salamat. And ngayon alam ko na so suportahan niyo pa rin kami dito sa aming um, series. Happy ka sa naging performance ng movie ng film fest. Oh yes. Oo. Alam mo, MJ, napakarami pinagdaanan ng uh, pelikula eh. Bago talaga siya nailabas. And uh, we're just so happy na after so many um, redirections na nangyari sa pelikula, uh, naging second best picture tayo, nanalo tayo ng Gender Sensitivity Award. And We're just blessed with, you know, um, a good director and good actor. So, um, I couldn't ask for more. Of course. Um, actually, andito rin isa sa mga kasama mo sa Clever Mind, si Derek Cabrillo yes. is also here. Derek, Derek. can show up? Hello, hi everyone. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat at sa lahat po nang pumunta po ngayon sa press card po ng Boy for Told by the Stars. Um, yun po. <laughs> Hello po. Yan, against the light ka lang, no? So, para kang, para akong nanonood ng The Healing ni Jong Hilario na nakaganon. So, yan. <laughs> nakikita na kita. <laughs> Congrats, ha, Derek and Jody. Salamat. Oh. Maraming maraming pong salamat. The um, actually, um, malaki yung, mag, maganda yung buong series kasi um, hindi rin namin pinabayaan sa ka magaling yung director and then the staff and the cast is lalo na yung mga yung mga lead na artist is hindi nila pinabayaan yung mga roles nila at maganda yung performance nila and speaking of the director tawagin na nga natin the one and only Dolly Dulu ay hello po good afternoon po sa ating lahat good afternoon MJ Jody Derek at sa buong cast at saka po sa lahat ng press na nakasama po namin today, maraming maraming pong salamat sa pagbibigay ng oras para po makasama kami ngayong sa aming media con. <laughs> ang saya, direct, kasi andyan pa rin ang curly hair mo. Ah, thanks. Siyempre, di mo awal. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pwede. <laughs> Trademark na yan ni Direct Dali. Salamat, direct. Uh, mamaya, magkatanong ako ng mga questions sa'yo, pero dyan ka lang, dyan ka lang muna. Simulan na natin, tawagin ang cast. Uh, joining us is okay at siya yung isa sabi ko kanina na exciting yung character sa episode 1 na panood ko kasi parang ano eh parang mas gwapo <laughs> so plan <laughs> pang paspice na nga na pang paspice na nga story ah. he plays Gio sa series na ito kababata ni Dominic at uh, parang siyang uh, nakikita ng malaking hadlang sa dumb look na tandem. No? Diba? Let's call in playing uh, the role of Gio Von Pixon. Hi, Von. Hey, Sir MJ. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Hello po sa mga nanonood. Thank you so much po sa pagsuporta ng Love Beneath the Stars. Von Pixon po. And yeah. Von, lang yung, yung camera ha, para makita yung kagwap- kagwapuhan mo. Ha? Kasi yun ang, ano, eh. yun ang reaction <laughs> kanina. I was reading the comments do sa KTX. Parang sabi nila, oh, yung Gio, gwapo. Oh, yung Gio, gwapo. Oh, di ba? <laughs> maraming maraming Aba- salamat po. Uh, bale, hindi pa naman po nagsisimula yung, uh, yung series. Bale, nakikita ko na po na maraming po nagsusuporta. Maraming nag-aabang sa, sa character ni Gio. Uh, actually, Sir MJ, marami ng Team Gio, sabi nila. Pero, abangan natin kung ano yung mayayari sa series. Kung talagang magiging haglang ba siya kay Dominic and Luke. Tingnan natin po kung ano po yung mangyayari. Did you have to audition for the role, Vaughn? Or yes, were you handpicked? Sir MJ Bale, 
Uh, ang nag ang nag-call po sa akin dito, yung kaibigan ko po si Yesh Bors, isa po nga matalik na kaibigan from FU Theater Guild. Siya po yung pumilit sa akin na mag-audition. Sa katunayan po, galing po ako ng summer. Nasa summer po ako that time. Tapos kinulit niya ako. Sabi niya, Vaughn, you have to audition for this kasi may racket ako sa'yo, ganyan-ganyan. Sa ako parang hindi ako naniniwala kasi wala sa akin muna yung bumalik ng Maynila kasi mm-hmm. pandemic, uh, I'm with my family. Pero sabi ko, why not? I-push natin to, di ba? Parang siguro ito na yung pagkakataon ko para makabalik ulit sa teatro, sa, sa, sa TV. So, ayun right. po. Nag-audition po ako. Pero direct Dolly, ano ba yung hinahanap mo na third wheel? Ah, uh, ano, magaling umakit eh. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, kasi yung character ni Gio, very complex siya in terms of, uh, meron kasi siyang hugot. Uh, alam mo, meron siyang dinadalang uh, past na hindi niya ma-reveal. Pero at the same time, kailangan yung font niya very charismatic. Kasi right. hindi naman siya. Technically, re- ini-introduce pa lang siya doon sa series. Tapos, so ang hinahanap ko talaga, siyempre yung kahit pa paano, kung ikaw naman yung fan ng movie, parang pag nakita mo yung character ni Gia, pagbibigyan mo, yung, kung bagay hindi siya lugi agad kay, kay Kian, di ba, ang gapo-gapo ni Kian. So dapat, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya, uh, ang goal is, hindi naman goal talaga, pero objective din na, siguro mahati yung audience at the same time, na parang maging, uh, mapunta so, sila sa, sa pwesto ni, ano, o, o mag-create ng tension, and mapunta sila sa pwesto ni Dominic, di ba, if you were, ano, you know, an openly gay ka, yung pinag-aagawan ng dalawang, Balaki, Ganda. Diba? Ganda. Ganda. <laughs> so, isa yung go. Isa yung sa mga hinahanap ko. Diba? Dapat may looks din. Pero more important, dapat talaga kayang bitbitin yung character in nice. terms of acting. Eh, magaling kasi yung Adrian at yung Kian. Eh. So, kailangan lumibel siya. Kasi kung hindi, wow. uh, kakainin lang ng buo. Correct, correct, correct. Nako, abangan natin yan. Thank you, Vaughn. Diyan ka lang. Stay put ka lang dyan. Ha? And kayo naman kasama Ito. natin. Siya naman ang um, basketball team coach ni Luke sa school. Isa sa mga magbabawal kay Luke para ituloy ang relationship niya kay Dominic playing the role of Coach Mark. Please welcome Victor Silayan. Hi, Victor. Hi, everyone. MJ, hello. Direct Polly, Vaughn, and Jody. Long time no see. So uh, to all the press that, uh, that are joining us today, thank you also. And to the rest of the cast, long time no see. It's good to see everybody. Victor, kontrabida ka na naman. Uy, hindi ba dito? Hindi ba? Semi, semi, semi. Uh, semi, semi. Uh, Kasi ikaw magbabawal eh. Uh, uh, but it's not what you think. Kian, so I give him this. I, I give him the advice, right. and uh, yeah, so that's that's it. Okay, thank you, Victor. We'll have more questions you. for you in a bit. Okay, All right. thank you. Andrew. After Victor, tawagin naman natin ang super cool mom ni Luke palaban sa kung ano ang tama. I think ganon siya in real life. Please welcome Nikki Valdez. Hi! Hi, MJ! And um, hello po sa friends natin from the press. Um, to our producers, hi, Jode! Um, and Derek, hello! Um, Siyempre, ang aming super cool director, si Direct Dolly. Oo, para lang siyang, para lang namin siyang playmate <laughs> <laughs> sa shoot. And of course, to our co-actors, uh, my co-actors, Ang, siyempre, ang leads natin, Kian, hello, anak ko, and Adrian, and siyempre, ate A, sa lahat po na nandyan, Kuya Nico, hello. Alam mo, tama yung description sa'yo, yung cool mom, because I saw episode one, and um, actually, sa episode two ka eh. Doon ko Oo, mas naramdaman eh. Sa uh, doon ko naramdaman yung pagiging cool mom mo talaga eh. Um, I, oh my God, I, I don't want to spoil. Buntik na akong may tanongin. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, natutuwa lang ako to be part of this uh, sequel. Kasi after seeing the movie, um, nabanggit ata yung uh, name, ay not the name, the the background of yung relationship ni, ni Luke with his mom. 
And um, I'm just honored to be playing the mom pala sa series mm-hmm. na magkakaroon pala ng sequel. Um, I'm, I'm really happy to uh, be doing this role. Uh, maganda yung backstory niya. Uh, being not only um, a cool mom, but more of um, accepting and understanding of um, her son's uh, choices and decisions. Actually, crucial yung role mo dito. It will resonate mm. so much. Um, importante. Importante yung role. Correct. I'm, I'm really grateful to be representing yung mga parents or yung mga moms na ganon. Kasi your role can be a game changer to all. You know? Mm-hmm. It might send that message na baka mas, I don't know, I don't want to spoil it. But, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> mamaya. Mamaya na yung ibang tanong. Thanks, Nikki, ha? Salamat. Thank you. Thank you, MJ. Okay. After Nikki, let's call, ako eto na. Yung, uh, Understanding dad naman sa side ni Dominic. Uh, sabi dito, lahat daw ng mga Becky sons will love him. Kasi ang understanding niya, let's call in Romnick Sarmienta. Hi, Romnick. Hi, MJ. Uh, uh, good afternoon and, and good midnight to you, especially. Um, <laughs> our producers, uh, Miss Jody, Derek, Derek uh, Dali, and to the rest of the cast, uh, hi, Nikki. Uh, Miss A, uh, it's a pleasure for me and an honor to be part of the production. Uh, I have to be honest, the first time they asked me to join in, I wasn't able to see the film. Um, pero the moment I read the script, parang sabi ko, yeah, I want to be part of this. I want to do this role. I want to I wanna be a part of this this awesome project. Actually, parang kay Nikki, ganda din ng role mo dito. Um... I think it's about time that, that people understand that you can't uh, discuss a subject singularly. Hindi pwedeng isa lang yung approach na. And hindi pwedeng hindi nagbabago yung paniniwala at pagtingin natin sa, sa mga sitwasyon. And I think this, this project gave me the opportunity to share that. So I liked it. I have a confession to make. Um, medyo kinikilig ako. So this is the first time na in-interview ko si Romnick. Ever in my whole <laughs> reporting career, first time ko pa lang ngayon na interview si the one and only Romnick Sarmienta. Kaya medyo may, ano, may fan moment ako ngayon. May fan moment. Thank you, Romnick. We'll uh, call Thank you again you. later for more questions. Ito, hindi ko alam kung magugustuhan siya ng mga, <laughs> ng mga, ano, ano, ng mga fans, na followers ni Dominic, yung character ni Dominic. Pero, siya kasi yung super proud na mother ni Dominic. Pero, Nagalit because of a certain scandal involving Dominic. Let's call in Miss Agat Isidro. Hi, Agat. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, hi, MJ. Uh, Jody, I miss you, producer. <laughs> Derek, hello. Hi, hey. <laughs> uh, and to our friends in the press, maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalo and I hope you're safe and uh, well, well, sa inyo na. Are you a contrabida Oo? here? Hindi naman ako contrabida. Uh, ako lang siguro nagre-represent dun sa mga close-minded na mommy, medyo a traditional medyo makitid ang ano yung hindi sila sanay siguro na ganun 'di ba na tapos meron silang parang uh, hinahangad para sa kanilang mga anak 'di ba meron na silang idea na gusto ko yung anak ko ganito so pag hindi nangyari parang sila yung gumuguho yung mundo nila tapos they take it against the ano the 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 child yun. right right Napanood ko yung nasa teaser ka ng episode 2 eh. Mm. Parang sinasabi mo doon na, this is not you. May mga ganun kang linya oh, oh, eh. Ba? I mean, parang sa kanya, meron na siyang, na-set na yung mind niya na ganun si, ano eh, si Dominic eh. Diba? Tapos very, ano siya, parang siyang tiger mom. Alam mo yon Yung parang, yes. yung, uh, ano, kailangan, achiever. kailangan, achiever, kailangan, number one, yung parang meron pa akong, uh, meron pa ako dun sa sinulat ni Dolly na parang, uh, bakit, number, number two ko lang yung element, parang, 
uh, hindi ka valedictorian, unless salutatorian ka lang nung elementary, dapat ngayon valedictorian. Yung may ganung pressure. So, maraming ganun eh. So, yun, sana this, ano, ma- makita nila na parang huwag naman i-pressure yung mga anak na ganun. Alam mo, natuwa ako niya kasi naging, na, na-obsess ako for a time sa mga Tiger Mom documentaries. Kaya <laughs> alam ko yung, yung role mo na yan. Okay, we'll ask more questions sa iyo later. Uh, I got, so we'll call you again in a bit. Yeah. All right. Siyempre, hindi makakompleto ang ating uh, discussion or press con for this afternoon. Kung hindi natin kasama yung dalawang bida, let's start first sa uh, MVP uh, ng basketball team at uh, MVP din sa puso ni Dominic. Let's call him Kian. Kian Johnson. Hi, Kian. Wait, hi. Yes. hi. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kuya MJ. Nice seeing you again. Um, thank you so much. Hello po sa, sa ating mga sobrang, oh my God, sobrang fantastic na producer, si Miss Jody. Hello po. Again, nice seeing you. Um, and uh, kay Sir Derek and sa oh so amazing director natin kay Derek Dolly hello rin po um, hello guys sa aking cast members nice seeing you guys again I miss you all and syempre hello din sa mga ano natin uh, friends from the press maraming 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 salamat for taking the time to support uh, this series and the movie right Kian when we last talked um, and discussed about the movie wala naman kayong ibang inisip na magkakaroon ng sequel series. You know, all you just wanted was magkaroon ng success sa box office sa Metro Manila Film Festival at ma- makarating sa mas maraming tao yung message ng inyong pelikula. Now, ano na yung mga nabago sa'yo since then to now? Well, The message is still the same. The reason why we're we're all doing this, why we're all working together to uh, really finish this series, is really to still send that message out there, to really and and not just in uh, a national sense, like literally international. Tell everyone that it's okay to love someone of the same gender, and at the same time, with this with this series, we're not just talking about the love between Luke and Dominic. We're also talking about. Uh, their love or their problems outside their relationship. Like, for example, when it comes to family or when it comes to school, your education, so many. You know, so uh, basically, for this series, the message we're trying to send out there is we're trying to help guide the people who are having similar uh, similar situations and help them, uh, how do you put this, solve them through telling the story of Luke and Dominique. How, how, ganda, how Luke and Dominique solve these problems. Ganda nung sinabi mo, Kian. Kasi... Doon sa Boy for Told by the Stars, nakasentro sa inyong dalawa lang. Yung, yung love, yung storya, yung kwento. Pero now, you're bringing it outside. You know, it's yung, yung community na the people around you, apekt, apektado na sila ng inyong pagmamahalan. Yeah. Doon, doon iikot, I think, eh, no? yung Love Beneath the Stars, the sequel series. And there are so many uh, other personalities that you can uh, notice from the series. Like, for example, when it comes to uh, my side, like, let's say, with uh, Miss Nikki Valdez, my mom, in the series, um, she's so understanding, she's so caring in the series, and in real life, actually, because I got to talk to her personally, and she's an amazing person, an amazing actress. Um, but in the series, ayun, ganun yung personality niya, but when it comes to, let's say, my father figure, si Victor Silayan, si Kuya Vic, um, sobra, ano siya, very very strict but at the same time he's firm and subtle at the same like he's he's literally the definition of a father figure yung parang bilang um single mother lang si ano miss nikki sa series parang he's he's the one uh, compensating for like that little guidance that uh, luke needs in his life that's why um you can tell them from this like uh, the first episode or yung you know the, the sneak peek yeah. na parang you know um si coach mark is very uh, like guiding me trying to make right. sure that i don't make or choose the wrong decisions Right. Actually, gusto kong sabihin to kanina kay Nikki, but I th- I felt like bas gusto kong sabihin sa iyo kasi parang life imitates art, art imitates life kasi si Nikki parang your real life mom. Who's a cool actually, she's, yeah, she's a cool mom. Actually, actually, um and, and uh, Miss Nikki in real life and in the series really reminded me of my mom. So like my reactions go were really genuine like if you saw in the 
the trailer, for example, um, Miss Nikki was like, you know, okay, mag, ano, ha, alam mo na. Don't spoil, and then don't I'm spoil. just like, <laughs> and that's like me, it's like my mom trying to embarrass me in real life. So I'm like, ma, my God, yung parang mo. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> naramdaman ko yun agad because nakwento mo sa akin how your mom is. So, naramdaman ko kaagad kay Nikki. Tumo ako pa lang yun na teaser pa lang naramdaman ko na agad. Anyway, ang dami kong tanong, ang dami parang questions later sa mga press. So, I'll give the floor to them mamaya. Kian, salamat. I'll call your partner now. Don't turn off your screen. Diyan ka na lang. Hintayin na lang tawagin na natin ng napakapitit na valedictorian na si Dominic at uh, may ipit sa kagustuhan ng uh, mga tao sa paligid niya at ang gusto ng puso niya. Ang ganda niya naman niya. Dala-dalawan na nakikipag-agawan. Let's call in Adrian Lindayag. Hi, Adrian. Hello, Kuya MJ. Hindi ko ma-start yung video ko kanina. Hi, Kuya MJ. Kamusta ka dyan sa LA? Hello, Direk Dolly. Babati din ako kay Direk Dolly. Miss Jody, hi Direk. Hello po. And uh, andyan din si Vaughn. Hi, Dong. Si Kuya Jom. Ate Nikki. Mommy A. Kuya Nico. Kian, hi partner. And of course, yung mga kaibigan natin sa press, thank you po for joining us here today. Thank you po sa pagnood ng special screening namin. So, pinaghandaan mo ba na naka-choral ka na polo? Inisip ko nga po eh kung anong kulay ng polo. Sabi ko, dapat mag-polo ako kasi media ko. Pero inisip ko kung anong kulay, parang dapat pink. Favorite <laughs> oh, so color ko yung pink. Eh. So, it's pink. Kasi parang think... shade ng pink, parang tong inuman ko, pink din. Tsaka Ay, yung lip ko, pink naman. Pink color na pink ko tong lahat. pink ko eh. Can we bring Can we bring up Gio on the screen? Um, Vaughn, pwede ka bang mag-on cam? Oh, ito na. Ito na ang ating love triangle. So, ito na ang... Kamusta yung pagpasok ni Vaughn sa picture? Kian and Adrian. Adrian? Interesting. Kasi um, yung character interesting and yung um, atake ni... Hmm. Ang saya mag... Ano, ang saya umarte, ang saya mag-perform, ang saya gawin yung mga eksena. Kasi mm-hmm. apakahusay ni Pon. And I'm so excited for everyone to witness how amazing of an actor that he is. And wow. 